Very quickly, here are some tips for presenting. But first, you need to know that presenting is about moving ideas between heads. And if you want to move ideas between heads, you've got to reinforce your message. Tell them what you're going to tell them, then you tell them, then you tell them what you told them. People do remember sound bites, and the simpler it is, the more they'll read. So highlight your takeaway messages. And if you have other material, make sure it tells the same story. But hey, remember the sound bites. So I'm going to tell you how to present well. I'm going to talk about creating a presentation and about some design principles. This is me. There's a tick. Planning to present well, then. So who's your audience? Different audiences need different approaches in terms of content and the level of detail you give them. Different approaches. What do you need to tell them? Well, is it a training video? Is it sales? Is it informational? It could be detailed. It could be brief. And an interested audience can handle more information than a casual audience. But do tell a story. After the presentation, what are you going to do? Are you going to leave them with the slides? Are you going to leave them with a the flyer? Maybe a video? You know, consider what happens after the presentation as well. So you've got the audience, you've got a message, use the medium well, giving detail is okay, and consider what happens afterwards. Now, creating a presentation. I recommend using Keynote, and here you are. It looks better, its transitions are good, you can use it on your phone, it's great. Think about the aspect ratio you plan to use. I'd recommend widescreen, especially if you're ever going to put this online. Outline the whole thing first. Next up is outline mode, which is a great place to get started. Tell a story if you can. I'd tell you this fun story, but I don't have time. And if you can, put one idea per slide. And use more slides. Maybe you don't need to use bullets. You can. You don't need to. Got to make sure you use a good font. Fonts.google.com has many. Do not use default fonts. Make your key points large. Okay, remember all that? Excellent. Pause if you need to. Looking at design principles briefly. This is pretty famous. And that's the order in which you read things. Pause if you need to do that again. The first thing is contrast. What did you look at first? Is it the biggest, boldest, brightest thing on the page? That's your job. Guide your viewer to that thing first. Headings should be consistent. Repeating things makes it more professional looking and less jumpy and careless. There's some examples. And do reset to your masters. Make sure everything is as consistent as possible. Don't auto resize the text if at all possible. Alignment is important. Use the margins, leave things where they should be, and don't center things. Except maybe every now and again, but not as a rule. Proximity. How close is something to something else? Simplest way to remember this, headings need more space before them and less space afterwards to tie them to their content. Make sure the themes are putting space in for you. The rules are crap. Contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity. Illustrate and don't decorate. If you're using images, and you should, make sure they're good photos. Make sure they're not just nonsense along the side. And make sure you make sure you present them in an innovative way because people have seen boring before. Maybe you could put things at an angle. Maybe you could put things in a circle. Maybe you could put things in a background. Use your imagination. Make sure you use diagrams if they're appropriate. You can animate those. Keynote does a great job of diagrams. And you can even do this through the web version at iCloud.com. Don't be afraid to animate with intent. If it helps your message, you can do it. Charts as well. You can animate these well, maybe appearing, maybe growing, maybe something else. But Keynote can do a terrific job of all kinds of graphs. Make sure it helps you to tell the story, though. Use emphasis to engage the audience. Don't just distract them. So transitions like that are bad. Use a nice subtle transition and animate with intent to wake people up if you need to. Dominant transitions are useful between sections, like so. And if you can, use video. Air travel use variety if you can, photos, diagrams, and videos. Make it memorable. Throw in a surprise or two. There's a summary. Remember, presenting is about moving ideas between heads. 
And if you want to do that, you've got to tell them what you're going to tell them. Then you tell them. And then you tell them what you told them. So that's what I told you. That's me. There's a tick. And if you have any questions, please just watch the rest of the course. Thanks very much.